are a few things to really understand. Most science books are 80, they're using information that's about 80 years old. The stuff that's still common out and taught in school. Um, today, we know through physics and through um, quantum physics that the material world is a communication tool. Everything is relative. There's nothing that stands on its own. There's some level of perception that's happening. So one of the things that I sent out in the email is we now, over 10 years worth of science, where we know that there is no objective observer in any situation. In a scientific lab, um, one particle can be in two different spaces. They photographed and witnessed one particle, the same material thing, going into all of the possible different outcomes based on the observer. They've taken pictures of this. There is no one reality. There is no one material world. It's a communication tool to help us understand what's going on inside of us. Everything out here at some level has a perception, has a connection to what we're able to see and what we're able to perceive, and most importantly, our belief systems. If you cannot believe it, it's very hard to make it show up in the physical world. What's amazing is we have 400 billion bits of information that is being received with our senses, only 2,000 bits are registered on a conscious level. We've had to make and turn off, we've had to turn off the majority of what we're perceiving as babies, babies to make sense of this world. We had to tell them, oh, a tooth coming in, oh, you're gumming something, you must be in pain. We had to teach a child Gumming is painful, toothing is painful. We don't necessarily need for that to be a, it wound up being a way a child understood reality. The way that I understood, oh, this feels painful, this doesn't. I created that perception within myself. I can see this, I can <coughs> see kids see in black and white. They don't see up until six months. They don't see any color because their eyes have to adjust in order to make sense. Um, and it's really an interesting thing that children and animals integrate with frequency.